So here we are today on July 20th in 2020. And uh, I'm here with a buddy of mine and we are going to hike or try to hike to the uh, Bighorn Mine. Of course, uh, I didn't do uh, proper research and so I have no idea which way to go. I read that it's a 4.8 mile round trip, but the signs don't seem to uh, confirm that. So I think our best bet is uh, Mine Gulch. That is a really big rattlesnake right in the path. Look at him, my God. You can catch him and eat him. Wow. We should probably wait for these people and warn them. Look at him, he's sitting there in a crouched position. He's not rattling his rattle right now, so he's just... Okay, so we just started on our Bighorn mine trail and uh, we've already saw what appears to be a diamondback rattlesnake. Woohoo! Got to warn some of the people we have. I never, I've never, that's the first rattlesnake I've ever seen. Oh my God. Maybe I'm your bad one. <laughs> I just watched that, uh, that movie, Snakes on a Plane. Oh no, before going hiking? <laughs> no! I can't even watch Animal Plan before we do these things. Mm. Beautiful view from the path. So far it's been more or less moderate, light to moderate, easy path. Watch out for rattlesnakes. And what is a hike in America without finding some art? Unfortunate urban art. Hopefully I can I can zoom in with the video here. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Darn ye. Kind of spot we can't see. hike uh, appears, could be wrong, this appears to be uh, tailings from a mining operation. It's all small pieces of gravel that appear to have been, uh, are somewhat in uniform in size. Sorry for the wind. This is an impromptu video. If anybody knows any more about this, please comment below. Um, you'll see that there's another trail. Yes. And I think that's where the cabin is. I've never gone down that way. I've done bad in a million times up. Is that, the, is that a good one? To the peak. Yeah, that's four miles up. Okay. Um, but you're gaining about three to four thousand feet of elevation. Woo! Yeah. One of the shafts apparently to that mine. There's water on the floor here. I wonder how far back this actually goes. Probably way back. Beautiful, beautiful tree laying across the road up here towards, hopefully towards the end of the hike. Hopefully it won't fall on our heads. We are coming up on the mill. That is a beautiful sight. An old abandoned mill. In the Sheep Mountain Wilderness, Valermo, I, I don't know where we are. It's Wrightwood. 
I know so little that I am ashamed to be the host of this video. Wow. So that must have housed a stamp mill. And what a stamp mill is, is it's a bunch, these large hammers that are run usually by steam back in the day, you know, around the turn of the, the, turn of the 19, I believe this is from 1902, 1904. They would have had a, a steam engine up here, usually called a steam donkey. Well, don't call them donkeys. The donkey did the work. And so they called them steam donkeys. And uh, the steam donkey would be turning belts and the belts would be turning the, uh, the, the rock arastra or the, uh, the stamp mill, which would, which would break the larger pieces into smaller pieces. And then they could load them up into carts and take them down for processing. So that's the, the trail down here. That appears to be an old adit that came out the side of the hill for the uh, mine. How do they get over there? Do they go down that? Yeah, we're going to walk across that. Okay. This would make a good uh, good place to drink some water out of a life straw. And here we are at the, uh, the Big Horn Mine Mill, at the end of the Big Horn Mine Trail. And it is something to behold. We got some old... I think there's probably a road at some point where they trucked it up it's or something. This one. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, people do anything if there's a good yeah. Right. Climbing up the big horn mine up above us looks like a, an old container for boiling something or water as well as uh, something. I'm here as your expert guide to point out something and the presence of some things. And this I believe is an ore chute where the ore came down from the tram. Oh boy, I'm out of shape. That's a disclaimer to the heavy breathing you hear. So there's a flywheel for something that processed something. And we are climbing up here to the, uh, the mine shaft. So uh, I guess my better judgment, I've decided to go in the mine, given that many foolish youngsters that were here before I said, yeah, no problem, we explored the whole thing. So let's pray for no earthquakes and hope for uh, the best. I'm gonna watch my head. Old mine tracks, old cart tracks. This doesn't look safe. None of this looks safe. Oh, it looks like it's about to come right down. Watch your back. Watch your head here. I know they explored the whole thing. I have no intention of doing that. <laughs> they said they spent two hours in here. Woo. My claustrophobia will undoubtedly prevent me from doing that. Yes. Oh my God, look at head. A human, ow. Oh. Well, there's a river.
Okay, right here, the air just changed to very refrigerated. Oh, this holds like the mines of the San Diego. Oh my, oh look, people have ropes so they don't get lost. Oh, hey, that's the, the mine shaft that collapsed. Look, it's, uh, remember that the one that was sticking outside? Yeah. That's it, this one goes downhill. Wow. Well, I'm gonna go a little further and then that's it. I'm not quite that adventurous. Man, the temperature of the air changed. Uh, I'm not exploring much more than this. In fact, oh, let me get a photo of that. I ended up there with you. Oh my god. Yeah, there's all these old supports to hold in the rock up here have rusted and are damaged and old. It's dangerous in here. See this stuff? This was uh, rigged to keep the, the ceiling from coming down. Oh my god. And these are little ropes that find their way out? Yeah. I think so. All right, well, uh, YouTube, my friend and I are just, you know, chickens. It's okay. As you get older, the more chicken you become, it's natural. This water. Those kids I've been told that we were talking to, yeah, we spent two hours exploring it. Nope, nope, nope. Can you see where you're going? Yep, just keep my head going. All right. So, we're coming up on the end of our hike, and it's been a beautiful hike. We got to see a diamondback rattlesnake, a waterfall, a 118 year old stamp mill, the remains of it and uh, explore a little bit inside of a mine, which we do not recommend. Do it at your own risk. It looked rather dangerous. But uh, this is a beautiful hike just outside the, the town of Wrightwood. I uh, think that I'll be coming back here in the future. <laughs>